Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing to you guys our experience with the hot air balloon. This hot air balloon is the main attraction for the Festival of Balloons in Tigard, Oregon. This festival is an annual event that happens every probably third week of June, but for this year it was canceled because of what happened because of this COVID-19 thing and um, the purpose for this festival is to provide local non-profit organizations some fundraising activities there are about 20 if not more hot air balloons during the festival and although they don't offer um, balloon flights during the day because of unpredictable weather the hot air balloons can only fly on stable air conditions but they do offer free tethered rides and it's usually early in the morning like an hour maybe or as long as fuel lasts and weather permitting so if you want to be able to avail for the tethered rides you want to be there early like early early because i think they start at 6 30 and there's a long line and for a person like me who has fear of heights Tethered ride is probably the easiest possible way to experience this hot air balloon because during tethered rides, um, I mean you board on the hot air balloon and it goes up in a low altitude but it remains tethered on the ground using straps. So they so said these hot air balloons were using the science of gravity and heat transfer and scientifically warmer air rises in cooler air so that's one reason they need this burner to heat up the air inside the balloons so it can start rising up and obviously when the air starts cooling off i guess the balloon starts going down so it perfectly makes sense why all of this hot air balloon activities normally happens during the first few hours after sunrise and just a few hours before sunset because of the air condition and now it's time for a quick q a so do you think a hot air balloon is a type of aircraft well according to my research it is a type of aircraft and just like any other aircrafts it needs a pilot a licensed pilot one needs to become a private or a commercial pilot before he can fly a hot air balloon anyway this was a wonderful experience for me and my family it was just really nice to see all of the balloon owners and their crew like setting up assembling and then launching their balloons Plus, we get to ride in one of the balloons, which is very awesome. This is all for today, guys. I hope you like this video. And if you do, I would love to hear from you. Just write down on the comment section below. And also, if you have not subscribed on my channel, please do. So you will not miss any of my future videos. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.